Hi, Mark Anderson here, ICT Evangelist, and I wanted to share with you quickly how to use the great free and simple tool from Lawrence Coppers at classroomscreen.com. It's something I've been sharing in sessions with teachers for quite some time now, but I thought I should really highlight it and share it a bit more widely via my site. So I'm making a short video to run through it with you. So look, it's super easy to use. Just go to classroomscreen.com and it'll come up straight away. It works on like every device. Really useful on a, on a um, device such as an iPad as well. So you can interact with it using your finger and your pencil uh, if you've got one as well. So look, you can change the language if you want to. You can change its background image here if you want to by going to background, choosing a different image and away you go. You can actually add your own images as well if you want to. If you want to do a random name generator thing so you can choose children in your classroom to do different activities, that's very simple. You can just put a random name, put in the names yourself, or you can upload uh, from a text file uh, the names. But let's move this up here so you can see it a bit better. Um, go to choose and it'll pick a name randomly for you. So well done, Philippa, that's you. Um, to hide away any of these little apps that come up, just simply click onto the toolbar again at the bottom. Something which is really nice as well, in the bottom right here, you can see the option here. You can just hide the toolbar uh, and bring it back if you want to, like so. Something which is really handy as well, sometimes the noise levels get a bit too loud in the classroom, so you can use a sound level monitor and adjust the sensitivity on here to react in different ways. Um, and you can get it to sound an alarm if it's too loud and that sort of thing. Often you'll want your learners to get to a specific website as well and QR codes are really helpful for this. So with the QR code generator you simply type in the address that you want and it will create a QR code for you there and then. You can also do drawings uh, to help explain whatever it is you're talking about and you can do that nicely with your mouse trackpad if you want to. Uh, or like I said before, if you're using a, an iPad, using your finger or a pencil or other stylus is super easy on screen as well. And you can, you can do that in a little floating window as well using the next option along. There's a nice little text editor as well which you can use to type in anything you want to text based uh, with some nice simple formatting features in there as well. You've also got work symbols, so if you're wanting children to work in silence, you can just show the symbol uh, and it will be very visible for the learners to see uh, the sorts of activities you'd like them to be doing during the course of your lesson at any given time. Many teachers often use traffic lighting as well to indicate different types of activities. Uh, so it could be the green light means somebody could come and ask you a question now, for example. However you wanted to use it, it's entirely up to you. There are lots of ways in which that can be used. Timers in the classroom are really helpful as well, and so there's a timer feature built in as well, and a clock to show the time, as you can see just here. So look, that's classroomscreen.com. That's not all of it, though. I did show you how to hide the toolbar. You can use this option here to go full screen if you want to. This option here is quite handy as well to run exit polls. So let's say you bring this up on your iPad in your classroom, you just pass it around uh, your class, and the children choose uh, which of the options they feel over time and that will record uh, all those results for you. Everywhere in everything in classroom screen as well there's lots of little helpful things that uh, Lawrence has put in like how it works and so forth and so on. If we go back to the main section here as well he's got a hints and tips section and so forth and so on. Really really useful. So look, that's classroomscreen.com I hope you found this little video useful. I'm Mark Anderson and you can follow me on Twitter at ICT Evangelist or on my website ictevangelist.com. Thanks for watching.